One of the earliest pieces of Beatles trivia that I learned from my dad was after I discovered the album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. He asked if I liked the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, and of course I said yes. He told me about how the song was inspired by John Lennon's son, drawing a picture of a girl he liked in his grade school. That always stuck with me, that something so amazingly beautiful could come from such a simple and kind place. Sure enough, that's how the process of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds actually started. There were other theories of its origin and illicit drugs, but these were all dismissed by the band. The real Lucy didn't even know she was the same one in the song until many years later in the 1970s. John said he got much of the song's imagery from Alice in Wonderland and its chaotic jumping from one scenario to another. He also said that the girl in the song with kaleidoscope eyes was the woman who would later complete his life, Yoko Ono. He hadn't met her yet, but afterward often attributed it to a premonition about her. It was no secret that the band was experimenting with LSD, and many felt that that was what the track was describing. It also didn't help that those letters appear in the song's title. Again, the imagery came from John and later Paul when he came over to his house and they began workshopping the track. The band first rehearsed the song for eight hours before coming in the next day to lay down the track. It's a common rumor that the song was banned by BBC Radio, but this is untrue. Later, a fossil discovered in 1974 earned the name Lucy from the song being played often at the dig site. There is even currently a mission from NASA named after the track. John Lennon wasn't happy with the final product. He felt it could have been done so much better and that it lacked the grandeur that he had originally envisioned. He got to take another crack at it when Elton John covered the song in 1974, where he provided guitar and backup vocals. He used the alias Dr. Winston O'Boogie for his credit listing. The original drawing by Julian is now owned by David Gilmour, and the lyrics, handwritten by John, have been auctioned off. Sadly, the real Lucy passed away in 2009. Many cite this song as the absolute peak perfection of the band's psychedelic era, and that's hard to argue. It would later be incorporated into the song I Am the Walrus, the film Yellow Submarine, and The Beatles' Love. Outside of the band itself, it's been covered and referenced in countless other works. Everyone seems to agree that the track's imagery, structure, and legacy are all near perfection, and it remains one of the greatest pieces of Lennon's work, even if he didn't think so himself. What do you think about this song? Let me know in the comments below. The content on this channel is made possible from viewers like you. Help the channel grow by supporting me on Ko-fi, which you can find a link to below. You can also help by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.